So apparently everything we're seeing with Puffy is just the personification of multiple corporations and big organizations starting to crumble. I hear a lot of people talking about the board of directors walking out of the company for 23andMe. This is a company to actually deal with ancestry. It states that the board directors for 23andMe has quit following disagreements over the CEO plans to privatize the DNA testing company. Originally hosting eight members, all seven of its independent directors left the board. And after looking into it, family, there's multiple CEOs actually stepping down. Here's a list of some more CEOs from NewsNation.com that actually left their company. First one we got is Kevin Lowes from 300 Electra Entertainment. Now it states that Kevin Lowes was with the company 300 Electra Entertainment since 2004 and decided to leave. Some that worked with him stated that in the past year, he was a defender of Sean Diddy Combs. Now there's no concrete evidence of this being the reason that he left the company, okay? But some inside the company say Lowes' exit could be a direct result. And the next company we have on the list is no other than Starbucks, all right? It states that Laxum Nerishman, pardon me if I'm mispronouncing that, after less than only one year in the position, uh, he suddenly stepped down in August while no specific reason was given. And some investors were calling for measures to boost the stock price and it apparently worked as Starbucks stock surged by more than 24%. Dave Calhoun is the next one. I um, mean, he was the owner of Boeing, all right? And he decided to step down. Um, and this was in reference to he dealt with flights from Alaska Airlines. And that individual decided to, to step down. The next one we have here is Bob Backish. This individual from Paramount Global. Stephen Shear from Hertz. And these are all big CEOs that just are stepping down from their companies. These are just more signs of the matrix falling. Lighten ones, stay on point because everything is going to be exposed pretty soon. And if things seem difficult, this is the time to push even harder. Once this matrix full of ones and zeros collapse, we will finally get to see the planet for its true beauty everything else around you is falling you should be building continue to focus on cosmic activation the reason all of this is happening is because the six thousand years is over this is the call that all the star seeds been waiting to listen for all right this is the activation of the 12 silicate matrix this transmutation process is inevitable and has to take place continue to stay alkaline instead of acidic this is why there is an attack on our genetic structure continue to detox the body of all toxic materials unnatural to it Consume large amounts of chlorophyll. Stay hydrated with fruits and vegetables rich in H3O2. Cleanse yourself of all parasitic organisms using wormwood, black walnut, and whole cloves to not only kill the parasites but also eradicate their larvae. Ormus will heal you on a cellular level. Breakdown of Orms is orbitally rearranged monatomic elements. Ormus is referred to as the Philosopher's Stone. It does alchemy to your mitochondria. These are the type of elixirs that they don't want you aware of. I would much rather you consume processed food with parasites and genetically modified organisms. Stop letting your kids eat this shit. In fact, this is a parasite cleanse that's friendly for children, okay? That's also composed of sweet wormwood, black walnut, as well as whole cloves. All right, and this will be essential. You can also utilize oil of oregano for the children as well. And I do have that on Holistic Remedies. Give them a diluted amount of oil of oregano, and that would actually ensure that you cleanse their colon because the children need something to protect them as well. This is a metal detox that's also safe for children, all right? It's composed of chlorella as well as cilantro, and it's safe for children. Realize that everything going around on the planet is a sign that we have to get right with ourselves. all right? All of these corporations that's falling, all of these entertainers are going to consistently be exposed. Uh, the politicians are going to consistently be exposed. It's only going to be more distractions that's pumped out. All right, so the important thing that for you to do, enlighten one, is to center yourself and to realize that it's a war. And it's not just a physical war, it's a spiritual war. Peace, love, and light to everyone.